Welcome to Mark Reed 757. This is week six of the Journey to Health Collab. Uh, this week's question is, how do you deal with negative talk directed towards you? Well, it's a good question. I, I really don't deal with it. I mean, let me rephrase that. Uh, I look at negative talk as a couple different perspectives. Uh, some people feel as though constructive criticism is negative talk, and I do not feel that way. I feel like constructive criticism can help you grow as a person. Um, it's just the way you take it. Some other people might look at constructive criticism as, oh, they're just being a jerk. And that's not always the case. You know, if, if you take what somebody's trying to help you out with, then it can help you grow as an individual yourself. Um, now, there's bashing. That would be another type where, you know, that's not constructive criticism. For, for an example, hey, you fat ass. Well, okay. Uh, it's easy to see that I'm a little more, I'm carrying a lot more weight than what I should be carrying, and you've made that observation, and that's all you had to say, and you can't help me uh, get rid of the problem, <laughs> you know, because I, I get called that daily, you know, I, I get called, uh, you fat piece of crap, and not so kindly, obviously, get called, uh, and that, that's the main thing everybody always says, it, like, you you fatty, uh, go eat another donut, go get another burger, go get another this, and all that type, type of talk, it just, I don't even, it doesn't even phase me, I'm like, wow, you're, uh, or way to go, Watson, you know, <laughs> Captain Obvious there, <laughs> come up with another one, uh, maybe if they called me skinny, I'd probably be, what? <laughs> Anyway, uh, I, that could be a bad thing that I don't really deal with negative talk because I, I just ignore it. Maybe I should uh, think about it a little more and use that negative talk as positive fuel to the towards my success. If I use that as positive fuel towards my success, uh, like I used to do, because it, it used to be where it would bother me, but I wouldn't let it out other than... I would show these naysayers, hey, look, I can do this, and I will drop this weight. I will be different than what you think I am, and maybe I need to get back to that because obviously what I'm doing isn't working, and I, I need that desire back to want to prove other people wrong that, hey, look, I can do this journey, and I can succeed at it. Sure, I dropped 80 pounds, but then I kind of just plateaued there, and I, I got to get right back to it and say, look, nothing's stopping me. I got this. You, you just try to stop me. That's the attitude I need. Try to stop me. It's not happening. Anyway, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll stop here. I believe I answered the question in its entirety. Uh, I'll see you next time on Friday.